Listing 38. Weird people. Josh, you know that the Smeglicks seem like the most ordinary family in the world, yeah? Yeah. Well, they're not. They belong to that weird organisation, that religion, what are they called? The Moonies. No way. That religion that Bob's niece and nephew were telling us about. Yeah. Basically, no one had been in their home before, but recently one of the neighbours, Judith's husband, needed to borrow some paint, so he knocked on the door. What happened? When he was at the door, he heard this sound that was like someone in pain, but no one came to the door, so he continued ringing. Anyway, eventually two teenagers came to the door, twins, and one of them was holding a pair of scissors. Sorry, we were just cutting up a pair of trousers to make a pair of shorts, they said. Yeah. But Judith's husband looked past them and sees both parents on their hands and knees making a triangular hat and a long white dress. Could I speak to your father, please? he asks. Then one of them corrected him. You mean stepfather. Judith's husband says, Yes, sorry, I didn't know. Anyway, the stepfather comes and introduces himself and says sorry for never introducing himself before and how he hopes that he doesn't seem rude, but he's been very busy, etc, etc. OK. So, Judith's husband explains that he doesn't think he's rude or anything and that he was wondering if he had any paint. The husband takes him through the house introduces him to his wife, who's cutting up the weird white clothes, and they go to the garage. Judith's husband is surprised at how friendly he is and laughs a lot while he hears a story about one of his nieces who won $10,000 on the lottery. More importantly for Judith's husband, he's got lots of red paint. Sorry I haven't got my own paint, he apologises, but I've run out and the shops are closed. Just as they entered the lounge, though, Judith's husband stepped on a pair of roller blades and fell over. He dropped the red paint and it went all over the white robes like blood. All the family screamed and shouted, both the twins and the parents. Oh no, our clothes for the ceremony. Everything was organised perfectly, but now we don't have the right clothes. Judith's husband was shown the door and they've never spoken to him since.